Boston fans or Mets fans, maybe you should have. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Hope you're enjoying this uh, rave party music. Uh, this week in cap starts in a couple minutes. Guys, mute your mic while the music's going until the music's done, okay? Please? It doesn't sound right. All right, Blanket, is it possible to stop the music? Yeah. That music, oh, was, good. Good. That music was interesting. <laughs> I didn't mind it. It took me back a couple of years. But uh, welcome to the stream, everyone. This week in Caps, episode 197 goes right now. Uh, we have a full house today, so... Mexi, it doesn't snap. go live yet. What are you talking about? We didn't do the countdown, bro. We're just talking. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we're just talking. Everyone's all out of sorts here. So once the um once we're done with uh once we're done with like the waiting room, we should take the music off and we just talk while Blank can get set up. Then we do the countdown and then we get going, right? Mm hmm I think we're kinda like still the getting used now. to this. Yeah. Orders it's something to get used to. Yeah. <laughs> got Jason here, we got everybody here tonight, huh? Mm-hmm. We could we could play the music next time. Just keep it a little lower, I guess, so we could talk. You guys agree? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we needed some glow sticks for this one. Yeah, but we got we got the higher energy music. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, you're right. Maybe <laughs> like run it a little lower, we can so we can talk over it a bit. Yeah, that was hard to talk over. 
Uh, you can't talk over that. <laughs> right. It's still stuck in and, my uh, and snaps right. dancing was uh, sta snaps dancing was pretty intense. Dancing you want to show us one of your favorite music. moves again, Snap? I, I think we should see one of your favorite moves again. <laughs> yeah, the nipple twist. <laughs> oh, the nipple twister. That's the, that's the, that's the finisher. That's the finisher. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. Let's hit that countdown. And we'll get into the show. Sound good? Yeah. Right, let's do it. Do it. It's the views from the ball live and direct, and it slaps the finest affinity community built on gaps. Sponsored in part by the best in the business. No suggestions of finish the classics and vintage. New era sickness, fire in the mix is ridiculous. It ain't no secret to the dopeness. If you're not focused, you left hopeless. Speaking the science of drops and what's tops. Pierre, Leon, Jason, on the floor, bringing you nothing but hot. Best of the best, exclusives and clean vision. It's a distinct mission in the embroidered thread of the system. To bring you nothing but the real, just link and get it. All keepers, no sleepers, no weepers, you know what it is. VP merch work a sequence first, bringing the work with the fits. It's the moment you've been waiting for. It's thugs and somersaults. Welcome to a whole nother level of fitted. It's views from the vault. Hey guys, welcome back to the vault. We are here with some exclusive content. This week in Caps goes right now. Jason, Snap, Jose, Klein, Leon, and Pierre in the house today. Hope you guys enjoy Pierre. Take away. Man, it should be a good show. Um, I don't know. These weeks seem to be flying by, don't they? Dude. It's mid-April already. I can't. I just can't. I, I guess your theory about, like, older people, because they've seen so much time, time flies by for them. I guess there's some accuracy to that, because these weeks are flying by for me. Yeah. Jesus. It's all about perception, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Snap, is it moving any faster for you, time? You're muted, Snap. I think you're muted, buddy. You're, you probably twisted your nipple a little too hard. He dragged the volume all the way low. Oh, yeah. mic check, mic check. Yeah, yeah. Right we, oh, we, unfortunately. Oh, it's because I had to, I had to, I had to bring it down. The, the, the. <laughs> He's the got microphone. the McDonald's headset. <laughs> I got my PlayStation uh, Five headsets on right now. Uh -oh. Let me be like Blanket real quick. Let me let me go down this elite. Let me let me let me be like let me be like Blanket. Yeah, I bought my elite uh, PlayStation Five headset that cost four hundred and fifty five dollars and ninety nine cents. <laughs> he doesn't find that very humorous. <laughs> He's not even gonna respond. That's how. That's how. Yeah. That's People how I'm at funny that was. Ariel. Huh? Where's your hat? hat you're wearing. I'm wearing. I, I got. I got my hat. I'm not gonna wear it just yet because I gotta cool down. I was doing some. Um, I was doing that, some home. All that nipple I, twisting got you hot and bothered. Oh, well, I was doing home improvement stuff around the house. Mm -hmm. I had had to do some stuff with screws and, and nails, and I hate that. Then I had to fucking. Uh, then I ate. I chowed down this humongous uh, cachapa that's almost d d devoured. And then I still have this to devour. Um, somewhere. Or tongs for a second. What is it's that? A, it's it's called a tumba rancho, which means a a housebreaker. After you get done with that, um. But anyways, um, yeah. So right now I'm kind of hot. I don't want to sweat out the hat because it's a white sweatband. You know, Pierre loves white gutters. So mm -hmm. I'm not gonna wear this until I feel I feel comfortable. All right. Well, um, snap. Uh, I appreciate that long explanation. Um, so a co some good news, right? So um, the first batch of Vault Club hats should be dropping uh, in the warehouse sometime next week. Ooh. Which means the following week we'll have our first official Vault Club drop. Ooh. That's good news, right? That'd be pretty cool. So there's going to be the first one. There's going to be We have now 211 members. So that means uh, the first hat. Now we're ready for the next hats, right? This one is going to be the. You're going to have one of three hats to choose from, um, and and it should be interesting. Uh, one of th these hats are good hats too. These are these are great hats. So I'm excited to see how these things land with you guys. Um, but that'll be coming up really soon. Um, and tonight we've got uh, another uh, Las Vegas 51s dropping. Um, if you guys don't know which one it is, we're about to. We're going to show you momentarily. But I think what we can do now, for now, guys, if that's okay, is let's start with our hat. So we'll start with you, Blanken. Cool. Wearing this really nice Twins. Mm. And tell us how much it was. 
Just a very clean hat. Standard $50 hat. Nothing too crazy. I think he's ignoring you, man. <laughs> 14 karat gold. No, he's in at $50. Yeah, it's a very nice clean. How much, how much gold is in that metallic right there on the twins? Are those off-color eyelets? Mm, I, th I don't know if they're technically off-colored or what. Yeah, they look off-colored. They're definitely off. I think navy defaults to black, and when you change it to navy, it ends up looking like that. Mm. Yeah, that's that's, that's fourteen karat gold metallic right there. Like twenty seven solid inches. Three millimeters. Hey yo. All right, <laughs> let's uh let's have uh Jose show his hat next. <laughs> All right. Ooh. So we got Joe R. After he came back from excursion, uh, said, "Hey, I made a nice two piece Oakland." And uh, he was kind enough to hook me up with uh, his F and F. So he sent you that from them. He sent you that from the Pescapades. It 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 took like three different agencies to get to my house. Yes. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Nice. Is that like a sneaky two tone front on that too? Sneaky real. It is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Beautiful hat. Beautiful hat. The bridge must have knocked out Jose's internet because it's it's kind of mm. fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Nah. All right, let's have um let's have uh Jason show his his off next. All right. So we got this. Uh, oh, I guess I'm kind of fuzzy batty. too. Yeah. Greenville Astros. <laughs> Ooh. Side batty. Ooh. From uh hooked up to me from Gate Crasher from the fine folks at Big City Cap Zone. Yeah, All right. Gate. Nice. Great looking hat. The G, the G star. Let's move to uh, Snap. I'm wearing this Area 51. It's the best front logo to have on an Area 51's logo with a black satin brim. Look at this thing. Not a lot of people have this hat, but I do. <laughs> Eat your heart out. On top of Store USA. I'm always throwing it in people's faces. All right, Leon, what are you wearing? Uh, I'm just wearing a simple Texas City Connect. Uh, nice little red hat. 2024 All Star Game, Green Under, from the fine folks at Promish Colorado. Okay, all right, and I guess I'll um show mine next, Blinken. All right, so I want to, as always, I want to show you guys uh, the hat. Oh Jesus, this reverse camera thing always gets me. So this is uh, what I'm wearing today: the Rochester Red Wings Reapers. This thing is uh nice and uh nice and scary. Look at this. You got that Reaper on the front. You've got that R on the side. You got that gray undervisor. Thing looks amazing. Take a look at this thing. Very nice. All right, and just quickly, I know we have a slide that we're going to show it on, but I'll show it in hand too. This is what's dropping tonight. Little Ooh. Vegas gold for the Las Vegas Fifty Ones. You got that blue visor, that Fifty Ones logo on the side, that nice shiny alien head. This will be dropping in stream tonight. There's good quantities on this one. Uh, the only size that did not arrive was size eight. Ooh, um, as you know, head. yeah, as you know, um, we can get the screen back to regular, uh, regular, um, regular size there, Blinken. But as you all know, there was one shipment that was missing a bunch of pieces. Luckily, it's been found. Um, this this um, this shipment was in Texas. Um, a store received that shipment and started selling some of the hats. However. Yeah. Um, the remainders will be, uh, they, they didn't know, I, I guess they didn't realize that, it, that they weren't supposed to be selling it. They thought it was theirs, I guess. But, um, once those hats come in, people that were looking for the three quarters and the Otani, the sevens and the black chihuahuas, there's various stuff that's going to end up, um, back on the site as soon as those things, um, land back at the warehouse. So, um, with that, I want to thank you guys for a nice little start to the show here. You guys ready to jump into this? <laughs> Paul Wall started selling your hats off the back of his trunk like mixtapes. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, I mean, things like this happen. It's just unfortunate that it was... <laughs> my, my, wife, my wife is actually at that mall right now. Do you want her to go talk to Paul Wall for you tomorrow? Yeah. Is she at like that mall? I, she's at... Yeah, they're staying at... That's, there's a dance convention there. Oh, nice. oh wow. That's, that's where they're staying, the Galleria. Oh, that's cool. All right. So I can have, go have her walk down to Liz HD and bitch slap Paul Wall tomorrow if you need me to. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right. No? Well, okay. you guys ready to uh, jump into the uh, the hats this week? Yes. Yeah, let's, let's go. 
All right, so um, starting off, we are going to show, I think, the drop hat, right, Blinken? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But we'll go ahead and move forward, though. No, 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 it's okay. It's all right. So, guys, again, this one will be dropping uh, in the middle of the stream. I would probably give it, you know, sometime. I won't keep you guys up too late if you guys are sticking around for the, the drop. Probably around 10.30ish, we'll, we'll drop this thing. Um, so, again, uh, this is the Las Vegas 51s. We did it in Vegas gold with a royal blue visor you've got a lot of metallics in there thing looks beautiful um slow down a little bit on the 51 so this is your last chance to get one for a little while um and uh and again uh coming up uh not probably not next week the week after we're gonna have our first our first vault club exclusive drop so looking forward to that with everybody and uh and with that we can jump into uh the first store this week right oh yeah let's take it to four u caps 98 in the bronx Yep, F fucking delay. All right. Well, listen, they decided to drop uh, a lot of hats um, this week. Um, but let's talk about first the March Madness hat. They did right with the Purdue. I don't get the Alabamas. Like, Alabama has nothing to do with the basketball. They're they a football made the Final school. Four. Did they? Yeah. Oh, Purdue. I didn't know. No, Alabama. Uh, Oh, Alabama. They, made, yeah, they, lost a, to UConn, they lost to UConn in the Final Four. Oh, that's a shocker. I never heard of Alabama making it that far in, in basketball. Okay, Alabama, you 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 improved your program. All right, well, sorry. Um, and and then you got these uh these they they were talking about that the side patches were new or something, and I was like, how are these side patches new? But I don't know. Which ones? Which side patches are new? They were flexing something about no, check out our new side patches. Maybe new for them. Yeah. Maybe which um, which side like patches are we referring to, guys? The All right. One. The what? Oh, sorry. The middle one. Is that what you're talking about? The middle ones? No, they must be talking about the college side patches, perhaps? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay. It yeah. must be because all these other ones are. Well, yeah. What do you guys like any of these hats? Um, I like the NCAA ones. I mean that that purple and black Diamondbacks is all right. Oh, you're right, though. Snap. So they put eight new patches for you. Swipe left. That's what I'm saying. That's what they put on their post about eight new patches. You know, they're Maybe probably they... just talking about for them. Yeah, they probably yeah, never. never these patches, patches are all like we've seen all these. Yeah. The only one that I can say is the is the is that Diamondbacks. You seen that being used before? Yes. That's been out for a couple of years now. Very rare do people use that side patch with the with the snake. Mm. That may be the case, but that patch has been around for a while. Yeah. Well, like you said, maybe it's just new to them. Yeah. Okay. What were you going to say, uh, Jose? The Purdue hat is uh, pretty clean, you know? It is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They rarely get hats. It was cool to see them get a hat. Did you did you pick it up, Leon? Since yeah. your you know your Canadian brethren were on that team, <laughs> uh, I didn't pick it up, but I definitely should because uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Zach Eady, proud Canadian. God, man, I listen. This isn't even being a hater. Zach Eady sucks. It's almost gonna burn a first round pick on him. Yeah, they're, they're going Raptors. to. No, so the, like uh, what's his name from UConn uh, declared for the draft too? Like, and they're saying he could be a top three pick. That's um, fucking terrible. Clint, Clint, listen, this. Oh. They already yeah, said yeah. that this will be the worst NBA draft in the history. Like there is no like nobody knows who's going number one. There is no their mock draft is horrible. Like this is gonna be the worst draft in the history of the NBA. Next year's is supposed to be really good. Supposedly. Mm. All right. Well, either way, let's move on to the next vendor. All right, let's go to 606 Brims. And they had their little uh, say about March Madness. 
They did all black domes. Sox, Cubs, Texas, Astros, and Oakland A's. Uh, what are your What's standouts? That March? What's that got to do with March Madness? Uh, I don't... Uh, mid- midnight Madness is what they called it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Mexi, what is your standout here? Which one would you cop? Uh, I would definitely not get that Cubs. I, I just don't like that logo. Other than that, though, these are not bad. Uh, specifically, I think that Texas Rangers is pretty nice, you know? Mm. Nice, little, nice little T in the front, championship team. Why not? Mm. You can't fuck up a good okay. black, though. Uh, they found a way to fuck oh, up you a couple of these. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they did, right? I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good too. No, they did. All right, I want you guys to continue on here. I'm going to see if I can get this on my iPad to be real time because this is really starting yeah. to get annoying. Well, let's okay. move on to the next yeah. door, then, guys. And we're going to go to Birdines in Chicago as they dropped three hats on Saturday, and then they. You know their um, minor league Monday hat. Uh, I really, really like this camo Cubs hat here. I don't know what it represents, but it's cool to me. I don't want to know what it represents. It'll ruin it for me. <laughs> I, I like all. I, I like all four of these hats. It's a Call I of agree. Duty hook. Yeah, these are, are, are all good. Hats, what are the cup? <clears throat> the first three on the left are those Ronnie hats? No. no, no, somebody his, else. His drop is tomorrow or okay. the week okay. after. Geo. All right, these are geos, maybe. Yeah, G- geo, yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. But you're right. The all three, flag. all, all four hats are amazing. Even that Milwaukee yeah. Braves. Uh, it's Mississippi Braves. <laughs> Mississippi um, Braves. Okay. I mean, that's only about fifteen hundred miles away from Milwaukee. Oh, and that that was TJ with the yeah. Mississippi. That was Braves. like. TJ. All black that's his third third one for crit. But I will, well, I will tell you guys that. But uh, hold on a second, uh, Snap. I'm about to defend you. I will say that when this hat first came out, a lot of people thought it was a Milwaukee Braves hat. Like a long, like when oh, sure. this logo was first like kind of like reintroduced. Not that it didn't exist. I'm just saying when people started to see it again. Yeah, but that doesn't excuse his stupidness. Oh well, I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> I mean, I don't really think about Mississippi. What's there to like about Mississippi? You might lose kick Mississippi while you're down there. Um, yeah, what I mean, gives it away? Mississippi, snappy, Mississippi that's, that's is constantly funny. ranked number one on all the worst state lists. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they'll just rally yeah. up with New Orleans and kick. It I mean, they'll way. they'll they'll give a they'll give a six year old uh, land over there. Yeah. Where would you rather live, Mississippi or uh, West Virginia? Uh, West, Virginia. West Virginia, yeah, West Virginia, for sure. Mm, interesting. Less, I mean, there's less chance of a hurricane in West Virginia. Yeah, is there? Virginia. Yeah, is there? Oh yeah. I would be. I would live in West Virginia. I would have my Confederate flag up. Um, yeah, why would you do that? That's just I just to blend in. Just stupid. to blend in. No. Oh. <laughs> careful snap I've, careful snap delicious no i've seen enough like um finding bigfoot shows I'll, uh, be to i'll be having chewing tobacco in my mouth <laughs> guys where the fuck is blanking like what is he doing I'm here. is this camera is this ten thousand dollar camera overheating again camera's overheating from all the that eight thousand dollar camera with the five thousand dollar stand is not. He's still cooperate. putting shit up on the screen though. At least look at him. He's still putting. Yeah, it. He's still no, working I, though. I still hear his comments occasionally. He, he's behind behind the scenes right now. I'm Blanking, doing, where the I'm, hell are you? I'm doing what he's, I'm actually supposed to be doing, which is moderating. He's, yeah, but you where's your where's your? No, no, why don't you? Oh, <laughs> thank you, Javier. Javier, welcome to the Vault Club. We appreciate having you. Remember, two hundred and twelve. That snaps lucky number. That's how many times his wife turned him down before she actually ended up dating him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's uh, that's an amazing number, an amazing, an amazing uh, feat for us here at Views in the Vault. Uh, so thank you, Javier. We appreciate having you. I um, mean, for those that don't know why I've kind of relinquished some of the hosting roles is because um, my uh, Discord is lagging a little bit, so I can't see it in time. So I'm going to allow... 
uh, snap to kind of run it until I can figure this out. You don't got to tell these folks none of that shit. Uh, what's <laughs> behind the scenes is behind the scenes. Let Daddy run the show right now. <laughs> oh, you're you're certainly not Daddy, buddy. I know you're getting that language from me, pal, but you are not Daddy. And put your fucking hat on when you're speaking to me. <laughs> you don't speak to me without a hat on, motherfucker. And where and listen, Blake, where the hell are you? Seriously, my fucking camera overheated, so I have to let it cool down. Again, this fucking camera, man. See this twenty thousand dollar camera overheating left and right. Ever ever since, like he never had this problem until he, he named price that uh that damn camera. <laughs> no, you're hundred percent right. He needs to go buy himself a ten thousand dollar fan now. <laughs> An industrial fan. Maybe that'll fix the problem. Or a fourteen right. dollar camera. <laughs> no, right, let's, just... let's move on to the next door. Let's go to the seas. Let's go to uh, everybody's favorite capsule. They were playing basketball. They went to the gym, and they said, "Let's play." Now we reviewed these on Wednesday, right? We were yeah. so wrong about that Texas hat. We were all saying Dirk Nowitzki. No, 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 no. This is Tim Duncan. <laughs> well, Tim I, Duncan. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get any of these hats. No, so, I'm with you, Jason. I didn't get none of it. Oh, so, Lord. Jason, Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce. Oh, Philly's. hold on. Let me guess. Hi. Come on. Go ahead, Jason. Why guess Philly? them all. Why Philly? He didn't play because in Philly. Paul, He's because his name, Philly. Is, his name is Paul. P. Paul. P. Paul. Double P. Christ. Oh, my God. They had God. three. three all-star ones. He, they had three fucking places to pick from. L.A., Boston, or even fucking Kansas City. And they picked and, Philly? And they put a Boston side patch on. Oh, so okay, so all of these, yeah, the whole mismatch patches throughout this entire pack makes no fucking sense. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. A hundred percent. All right, so guess, 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 guess the rest of the players. Go ahead. All right, so I'm guessing the eyes are for Iverson because you know he's a big Cleveland guy. Like whatever. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Florida is got to be LeBron James. The way Wade. Okay. 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 Uh, the Tampa Bay Rays is for, um, I have no, Green Ray, Ray out. Jesus Christ. Has he ever been to Tampa? Like, (laughs) uh, what what do you think is the Seattle with the San Francisco side patch? I don't, uh, Bill, uh, Bill Russell. Steph Curry. Jesus fucking Christ. This is. This is a guy. The, the Chicago, the Chicago, the only ones that they got right the Chicago was Chicago. Made, it's for Michael Jordan. I'm yes, yes. Okay. And I kind of get the Ray Allen one. It says Rays on the front. Okay. The rest of them, like, no. The no, Florida no. one, the Florida one, you could say okay. yes. Uh, all right. All right. Dwayne Wade, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll give him that one. But the, the other four, like the Paul Pierce one, just pisses me off as a Celtic fan. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on this, man. <laughs> Like now, come on. Now they got all right. So now, now um, the, Jason, colors, the colors they picked. Some of these are fine looking hats. Oh, I yeah, really like yeah. that Phillies one, but the Boston side patch just makes it fucking trash to me. And now, like J- the the Ray the Ray Allen one, I like that hat. That's a good looking hat. Uh, the Miami one, I what patch is on that one? That's a mismatch too, isn't it? I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, Jason, now. I also want to ask you, because you were here on Wednesday, was the, you see the minor league hats that they have where they're holding their hands, the loons, the yep. iron birds, and the, mm-hmm. those have the major league side patches garbage. for their affiliate. Fucking garbage. Like them. Garbage. What? Garbage. No. But it's team colors, though. Great. Garbage. It makes sense. Team, co- team color garbage is what it is. Mm. You don't like you don't like okay. the Orioles okay. fifty with the with no, the, with the Aberdeen the, Ironbirds haven't even been around for fifty years. It does makes no fucking sense. Okay. It's garbage. I hate mismatched patches in all their shapes and forms. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, does anybody else want to object, or can we move on? I like that uh, Ironbirds. You it. can like it because you're a fucking Maryland homer now. I am. I am. Yeah. I don't live too far from the Ironbirds. Good. Maybe you can go over there and tell them, try to explain that hat to them. And have like them an fucking, Jason, Jason, I, stop you I, I'm not mad. At, Jason, I like this yeah. Loons hat with the Dodgers side patch showing the city of LA. Great. 
Buy it because wow. Great the Great Lakes loons Great Lakes are so, so close, close to LA. So close to LA. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I said this on the show, right? On Wednesday. I, it feels like they want to jump into minor league, but they don't want to jump all the way in. So they're like, all right, let's do a minor league front and then put a major league logo on the side. Like, it's just, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I'm You're just disappointed that major what league. What does the Aberdeen even, even Ironbirds, right? Yeah. The Ironbirds, right? What's what 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 value does the 50th? Orioles that, catch that one. I can home almost. No, but what's almost? The, no, it's the same though. It's the same idea though. Yeah, like, I know, but at they're least they're in Maryland. Catch. At least they're in Maryland. So I mean, it makes kind of sense, but no, just trash. Oh well, well Andrew Br- Andrew Branch is in in here. Andrew Branch is an Orioles fan. Do you uh do you um sign off on that Iron Birds hat, Andrew? Why don't you just use a minor league patch on it? Or just no patch. It's a good looking hat. Or do the primary logo on the side. Sure. Something. Uh, I also, before we leave this slide, um, because there's an Iverson hat here, the reason why I'm wearing an Iverson shirt today is for the disrespect that the that Philadelphia 76ers gave him this little ass statue of Bow Wow to a crossover move. That, that, is, is that statue going to be inside, in like on a glass case, or oh, is I think that they're giving to... out one to every fan? That, comes that was to, a game. to uh, the practice arena. Apparently, he's getting a bigger one in the arena. Oh, no, that, that was that... so. Oh, that They've was so done small. that before with like Dr. J and somebody else too. Tiny oh ass. man. <clears throat> now what? And now Snap is burping up his lunch. So. <laughs> You guys ready to move on? All right, let's here? move on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the next Captain right, Nova. I want, I want you, hey, I want you and Leon to alternate. Is that okay, please? Damn, you know, you already fired me from the job? <laughs> no, no, I want you guys to alternate. Yeah. So, Leon, Leon can, so guys, go every other slide, okay? Leon does the intro and the outro. <laughs> and I want to make sure that I'm not getting snap overload today. So um, on the so next. I'm, on the next show, on the next show, can I can I do can I do the outro then on the show? Yeah, absolutely. All right, cool. All right, Leon, go next ahead. Week, well, next week, what for from next week? What we're gonna do is you guys are gonna send me the um the slides, right? And I'm gonna look at them on my iPad while we do this. This is just gonna be easier. I don't I don't want to deal with lagging at all. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. That's cool. Good, uh, yeah, that's a good one. All right, Leon, all right. read this slide. All right. So, uh, Capanova dropping. Um. These four hats, uh, they're calling this the spin-off 2.0. So uh, we see a lot of black, white, and um, a little bit of like, it seems like a little bit of silver as well. Mm-hmm. We've got four, four hats. Or do any of these and stick out to you? There's some pewter in there, it looks yeah. like, too. Yeah. You feeling the black, white mist of these, Jason? Uh, yeah, like six years ago when I first started collecting hats. I'm over it now. <laughs> But these are just black white. This is black white silver. Metallic. I don't know. A little pop of color or just go completely dark. I don't know. The only one that looks right to me is the, the white socks. Damn right. Because they they didn't change. Yeah, it I well. mean that's a that's that that's always a winner. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Always a winner. I think I don't like that. Color. Angels logo. Yeah, the LA. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. There, is I, there a smaller version of that? That used that to be. That one does look a little there. large. Yeah, I think there's a smaller version of that. I like that logo in the smaller version. I this one is too big. The order is okay. It's just the, hmm. the side patch is just too similar. Not enough contrast. Which one? The Orioles? Yeah, said? the side patch. Throw some that's black a, in that's that a side. good side patch too. I know. It is. My my problem with the um, LA logo is the side patch that it has to go with it. I hate that side patch. Ugh. Which one? The LA one? Uh, yeah. I, I, every time they use that LA logo, they go with that side patch, and I and I just hate that patch. Yeah, it's not really a side patch though. That's actually like a primary logo. Right? Isn't that a logo yeah. that we use? No, that's the their twenty fifth anniversary. It's kind of hard to see here because you can't really. It's got like the sixty-seven date. Oh, I see it. Yeah, twenty-five at the bottom there. I've never used that patch. Mm. Mm. 
I don't know if those officially go together. I don't know if there's anything that goes together. No, no, they don't go together. No, the one, no, there's something that goes with this. Is the one with the angel wings on it. Mm. Well, this one, you this one that. at least covers the years they were there. So, or the years yeah. they use that primary logo. So, yeah, yeah. But that one, the, the patch, the native patch, that is that one with the the A, right? With the, the no, it's the is it, it's the one with the um the little angel wings on it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, you're talking it about looks... the bones. I was talking about the, the yeah. patch. Yeah, I'm talking Text about the right back. patch that goes with the bones. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about the front that goes with that side patch. The front that goes with the side patch is just a sharp A, right? Hey, Ryan, I've already told you guys a thousand times we're improving the stock, okay? Like, don't come on here and start like and, st and start that. What do you think? It takes a week to, uh, to increase stock on hats? It takes time. It takes three months, buddy. And do me a favor. If you want to criticize something, reach out to my personal Instagram and talk to me there. Or criticize Snap. Yeah. I mean, the, the, you guys don't, you guys gotta understand, hats are ordered months ahead of time, like three months ahead of time. At a minimum. At a minimum. That's right. And, right, the, and the Las Vegas 51s today has more stock. But if you have if you have any other questions or you want to criticize anything, just reach out directly to me. I'd be more than happy to have the conversation with you. All right, let's continue on here, guys. All right, Cap USA Harlem, baby. Um, they said, you know what? Check out this new style. What do you what do you, the train conductor? Right? What do you call the style, Pierre? With the pinstripes. Little blue and white pinstripes. I still can't even see it yet because that's I think it's how big the wagon is. Stripe, stripe denim, I think, in the book. Um, oh. yep. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say I kind of like that New York. Uh, what is that? The Highlanders? Is that their name back then? Mm -hmm. Um, with the denim. Oh, I see it. That hat is screaming heads and ready. Our friend John would probably love that hat. Mm -hmm. He would. John oh, he, yeah. He's fucking foaming out the mouth for that hat right now. <laughs> this is, they had, um, they, they really like focused on the alternate fabrics for this drop and they did a video a little bit different, like that I saw today. I don't know if you guys saw it on Instagram, but, um, I kind of like what they did with the uh, the New York Highlanders, like uh, like um, you said, Jason. It looks kind of cool on that denim. And is that green velour on the Diamondbacks? No, it's no. black. It's just a bad black. Oh, black. Okay. Okay. So out of the uh, striped denim or whatever, which one do you like better, the solid or the two tone? I uh, kind of like the two tone. I yeah. go with the solid. I don't know. I think the two tone. Was it uh was it Jackie Week or like a Jackie Day the other day? Uh, uh, April fifteenth, Monday. Jackie Day. Oh Monday, okay. It was Hank Aaron Day the other uh, like uh, April eighth. Like it was the fiftieth anniversary of a uh, seven fifteen. Do you know? Are we gonna get a patch for the fiftieth or what? For his? It's, yeah. Well, no. oh, that sucks. Big Crit, Big Crit made a song for him. Mm. Cool. All right. Well, let's move on. Great I'm job, Cap USA, Harlem. All right. Cool Jays dropped these six hats. Um, I forget what the hook was. From these were Ox the packs. Oh, they're yeah. Ox packs. Okay. Yeah. Saw, saw the pack coming from them. Um, at least they used different teams. Than what we're usually used to seeing, um, but yeah, these six cool Jays hats. Klein, do you have anything you like here? Uh, I like the the first slide or the first picture, I guess I could say. The first two, yeah, I like that Philly. These are all pretty solid, actually. Yeah, they yeah. made a better. They made a better hat than Paul Wall himself. <laughs> but take taking the hook out of it, they don't feel like. Ox pack hats, but they do all look pretty good, right? I think that's the mm -hmm. that's what's good about them. Yeah, I want to be able to guess what these hooks are. I don't want to. Uh, maybe the purple tape for the New York. 
other than that, I don't really. You got Kid Cudi, you got Meek Mill, yeah. you got that's the extent of my knowledge on these. You got little <laughs> Dirk, you got Durkio for the Sox, Paul Wall for the Astros. That's a Paul Wall hook, yeah. Oh. The people's champ. Um, oh, okay, I see it now. They listed it, it's crazy. They're listing it. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Well, he he just said the last week's hat was related to the cocaine cowboys, so August pack ain't gonna <laughs> hurt. Okay, <laughs> anything goes in Miami. All right. Oh, mm-hmm. you're right. You're right. But uh, damn. All right. mm-hmm. I, I think they're aesthetically. I think they're good looking hats. They are. They are. They are. Yep. I don't think there's. I mean, I don't necessarily like the White Sox hat. I'll be honest with you, but the other ones. I don't know. I think they're aesthetically good looking hats. Mm-hmm. This might I be like the that, best that Cleveland C with that side patch. You don't see that combo mm-hmm. too often. That's pretty nice. No, because everyone was doing was on the whole hype train with the Indians eye and the Indians yep. script, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. I didn't really see too much of this. This but, is um... their best ox pack they ever did. It was great. Great pack. Well, Poppy caps a lot has said uh, he's given all of the definitions down in the chat. So thank you, Poppy. I'm not going to go through them because I don't know who any of these people are. So, <laughs> can you uh, ASAP Rocky for the Mets? He's married to somebody um, famous, right? Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah, it, thanks. I don't know if they're together anymore. No, they are. They are. They, are they got two kids. They, they got two they kids together. Mm. They got two babies. And then you don't really hear anything negative about him either. Like, you don't hear, like, you know, Party B and what's his face. Migos, right? Or who, oh who yeah, offset. offset, offset, offset. You're about terrible shit with them all the time. You never hear nothing about ASAP Rocky. No, true. He ain't trying to mess up. He he's not trying to mess up that bag. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, maybe he's just being loyal because he's a good guy. Well, yeah, he is. He's a great guy. You know? All right, cool. You guys ready to go to the next vendor? Mm-hmm. All right, let's do it. All Ooh. right, my turn. This is. Uh, Pierre's favorite store in the West Coast, Crown Minded. And um, they got some real tree action right here with the Pigo and the Texas uh, combo. Uh, you got an L.A. hat with a 50-year, is it a 50-year anniversary or 60? 50, I believe. 50th, big 50. Um, then you got hey, that uh, little. Snap, can I pause you for one second? Yeah. Um, can Blanken, can you send me the, the keynote, please, or the PDF? Yes. All right, cool. God, this is your first night to just sit back and relax, Pierre. Um, <laughs> you got <laughs> your, you got this crazy uh, chimpanzee swinging a bat uh, with an angel's patch. And then you got the San Francisco Giants Vegas gold. Mm-hmm. With the Astrodome patch? Come on, Ooh. guys. Boy, what happened? Oof. Oh, is that All-Star game? It's All-Star game? Yeah. Still weird though. Are we really. still are we still wanting real tree hats or what? Mm, if, if they're done correctly, yeah. I think they got to be. They've got to be super special, man, because there were so many of those kicking around for so long. I think if they're not like outstanding, they're not going to work. Guys, can we get a one? A one for I still want real tree. A two for I'm done with real tree. In the chat. I think as it warms up, maybe I might get a little popular, like more popular. You think so? It warms I feel up. Like, I Real trees are like fall color. Yeah, come I mean, on. It's... Well, in Canada, it never gives up. Gets about fifty Real degrees tree? Fahrenheit. Real so. trees like fall. Fall? I mean, definitely yeah. not a winter thing. No. Uh, winter thing. Well, winters nowadays it is. I mean, there's no there's no fucking yeah. snow anymore. I snowblowed one time this year. Whoa, this whoa, year. whoa! I had yeah. four days off of work because of snow. Well, this time last year, I feel like uh, Real Tree was like, this was peak Real Tree. Well, this time last year, it mm. was. Your your months are off. Did the eclipse fuck you up, Leon? Because that's a fall thing. Well, according to the chat, we got about a sixty forty, not wanting any more Real Tree. You guys mm. sold a grip of them when when the at the store opened. That's kind of how I associate it. Oh, my okay. what my oh my store? Yeah. Our store in my head, it was like peak real tree. No, nah, I think we'll peak real like tree for us started after 
Oh yeah, you're right because you remember those guys in the real tree vests, the, the vest and the, <laughs> the Crocs, the real tree Crocs, the boy suits. Yeah, that those guys They're are no joke, man. man. Yeah. And uh, Blinken, just let me know when you sent that over, okay? Okay. Was one was one they want it or don't want it? One was they want it. Two was they don't want it. Okay. I see a lot of ones in here. I see like, a mixture of both. It's like ironic, right? All the people from the city are wearing it. Is that like ironic? Yeah, those those people haven't even seen real trees. <laughs> <laughs> That's how usually it is. Listen, I think Real Tree looks good with like the bear logos, like animal logos. It, it really, the ones we did really worked. I mean, yeah. you know, and then in trees. What's that? Stuff that would actually be in a tree, right? Yeah, yeah. or in that environment. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like all right, cool. All right, well, let's I've move on. The Planet of the Apes trilogy. Uh, blanket. Yeah. Have you sent that over yet, or no? Yeah, I just sent it. Just now. Okay. Well, so it's, the next one, it's Leon's turn. Perfect. So uh, we got these clink room uh, hats up for pre-order until May 12th with estimated delivery of October 2024. We'll start off with the Ring of Fire by Sierra Gons. Um, kind of good timing with uh, the Eclipse. Yeah, Not you might the... actually get it get it in time for the next total eclipse in the United States. <laughs> 30 years from now? 20 um, years from now. Yeah. but uh, That's a he... badass hat. Hey, it Sierra Gons pretty. It was pretty cool hat though. Sierra Gons is the goat of Clink Room, man. Is he? Yeah. Right. Well, who um, you think is who you think is the goat? The goat of Clink Room. That's a good. I think Afra or Jason. Lincoln, what email did you send it to? If not forty sources. Uh the me one. Uh. Hold... All right. Music. Well, let let Leon continue his clink room expedition. Hold on, I want to figure this out. Uh, Gmail. You okay, want me to send, it to, send it to the me account? Yeah. Is it the same exact thing, just at me? Yep. At me dot com. Okay. Send it now, or you'll never work in this town again. Chill, <laughs> man. <laughs> Right. Um, go ahead, Leon. Sorry about okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. So, uh, yeah, uh, he's got the Eclipse one, and then we will move on to King Cool. So that's the dude designs. It's kind of back with his um, Kong in front of the the Palm Beaches. He's actually from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, and then we got Spring Bloom by a Wind Studio and Sassy. Um, they got together. Um, the concept is by Sassy, and then the uh, art was done by Wind Studio out of Bellingham, Washington. And then Mike Perry, front of the show, teamed up with uh, Matt Bell, so two Canadians getting together, doing the Rookie Kong. That's the bottom left-hand corner, um, paying homage to uh, vintage cards and card collecting, stuff like that. Uh, and then we got a creepy one, Dead in the Water by uh, Rick <laughs> Clifton. Man, that uh, floating skull in the water. Uh, that thing's been in the water for way too long. Um, yeah, that that one's uh, pretty crazy. And then uh, uh, the last one by Lane and Yakobo, uh, Como Ta Lamas, I guess. Uh, name with the Yamas is the same. Uh, name and Lama is the same in in yeah uh, Spanish, I assume. And uh, yeah, so he was inspired by his trip to Mexico City. And uh, teamed up with uh, Yakobo. So those six were up for pre order. Mm. Mm. I was thinking three, with the solar. Three really good hats on here, and three n- not good hats on here. Let me yeah. guess, Jason. You like the solar eclipse, the cherry yep. blossom. Yep. And the Kong. No. No. He likes the llama. Fuck no. I, no. A llama <laughs> making out with a fucking cactus? <laughs> oh, he like nasty one? deeds on there. That thing is weird. No, I like dead in the water. Oh, oh shit! You like dead in the water? Hey, I snap, do. Can you, snap, can you? We lost all of our cameras. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I got y'all. Hold on. Yeah, he's coming back with it. And Don't snap, worry. do me a favor. Snap, can you just send me over the slideshow, please? 
All right. I'm sending you right in now. A, in, in, in a regular format, please. Yes, like, sir. Just, just send it over in PDF via email. That's what I'm doing. No, you're sending it over. It's going. It's opening up in Google Drive. Might be because it's too big. That's one second. It was a big file. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Llamas are from Peru. Yes, they are. Mm hmm. Are you kidding? There's got to be a, at least one llama in Mexico by now. Mm -mm. Nah. Just one. This, you tell me Mexico I, City I, doesn't have a zoo? Yeah, Mexico, a City zoo has, Mexico City has more Americans than Mexicans at this point. But uh, it's, it's also como, como te llamas, right? That double L makes that Y sound. Um, mm. I, think, I think it's nicely I, done. But it looks like llamas the word i guess that's why yeah 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 but if you but since you're reading in spanish right it's llamas Fair yeah check your text message thank you so uh it's uh I, you know what i i could i could wear this hat because like i am of mexican descent and my girlfriend is of peruvian descent there you go so you're the cactus so, in the situation um I sh wow <laughs> that's yeah yeah I mean, she would be the llama, right? The llama is just from Peru. Yeah, God, there's damn. cactuses from Mexico, and I mean, she is half Mexican, so like, I guess her wearing that. Damn, I think I just talked myself into pre-ordering this. <laughs> oh, please, that's that's sad. Go with the eclipse, man. If you're gonna pre-order one of these, go with the eclipse. No, the the eclipse is cool too because it also almost like reminds me of like the pupil of an eye. I guarantee. Yeah. Oh, look. I've guaranteed the skull in the middle glows in the dark. Nah, but they would have to be white though. I think it's just dark pewter. Oh, that that actually ruins it for me. Or like a I didn't see that pearl. until just yeah, now. Pearl. No, I I just wanted the 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 eclipse. I don't need the the skull and the moon type thing. Yeah. Good times that eclipse. All right. Cool. I spent time in Buffalo immediately. Of that. We were Why would you go there? Why would you go there on purpose? Because <laughs> I mean, the eclipse hat uh, um, with the Buffalo Bison logo, and I thought it'd be a cool photo op, but it was cloudy and we didn't see anything. The only way I'm going there for anything non business related would be like if someone kidnapped me and made me go there. It's, it's a far drive for you still, right? Like six hours? Yep. Yep. Yeah, no, no maybe more than that, right? Maybe, maybe eight. Yeah, you're right. You know better because you drive. You yeah, go to. Yeah, yeah. Don't Seven, you nine, get the Buffalo eight. before you come to my house? Oh yeah, yeah. It takes me like an hour and a half. Eight hours, to right? Yeah, it takes me about an hour and a half to get the Buffalo, and then from Buffalo to where you are is about seven ish. Oh, so you already depending. knew the answer. Depending. <laughs> yeah, but depends on when you leave, though. Depends on when you leave, though, sometimes. Like, I mean, well, you know that. Yeah. If anybody's interested, it's a 13 hour drive for me. 13? Is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To Buffalo? Hmm. That's not that bad. I bet I, I can make that in 12 and a half. Easy. It'd it take you five minutes to drive through the whole downtown, though. All right, Pierre, you got it. Um, And guess what? After this slide, guys, it is that time to drop out. <laughs> <laughs> it's that time to slide down the pole. <laughs> is it sliding down the? It's sliding down the pole time already. No, 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 no it's no, drop it a hat time. Drop oh, a hat. drop a hat time. All right, cool. Hoping this thing loads and then we can get started here. Well, oh, it's time to drop the hat now. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do it now. All right, doing it. Should only take a minute, guys. So head on over to the site now. I'm going to get this thing started up for you guys. Give you guys a minute to get in there. I'm going to wait until I see some people on the site. Are you guys making it over there? Yep, you're starting to see more people join. Get over there now if you want to pick this hat up, guys. I'm going to add it to the queue now. 
That blue's real smooth. It is. All right. Oh, okay. All I can see now with this logo is Wimby Yamba, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing, Jason. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's Spurs look. Oh, Wemby, you saw that commercial? No, I I the, did you guys see the sneakers too? His logo, his logo, yeah. The concept sneakers look ugly. Yeah, I don't know, man. And it got no laces. It looks like a fucking hoverboard. I, don't... I know, but if anybody else made those, like if Kanye made those, everyone would be fucking dying for them. No. All right, guys, it's now live on the site. So head Good on luck. over there. And there were more quantities, so get over there now. Yeah, Ryan. <laughs> the Yeezy brand is pretty dead, though. So I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, I think, like in general, I think people, if it were Kanye, they'd be dying for that sneak that sneaker. No, I, but because you're using Kanye, I'm saying no. Like I, I understand what you're saying. I just think you used the wrong example. I don't think I did. I, I still think people buy Kanye stuff. <sighs> that shit is not moving. Well, because it's all it's Adidas shit, isn't it? No, yeah, even his own it. product. What what yeah. what is he what is he released lately? Those boots? He's, those he's slipper boots? Like Twenty dollars, like uh, those slip on shoes and uh, yeah. t shirts and shit. But he's selling yeah. everything at twenty bucks now. And uh, I did tell you guys there was no eights at the beginning of the stream because they were lost in transit. So. When those do arrive, I'll make sure that I uh, that I post it, and you guys can uh, jump on it then. Okay. All right. Cool. So let's move on to Top Restore Europe, guys. So Top Restore Europe had uh, quite the week. Um, as you can see here, they had uh, quite a few drops, including a couple of truckers. You see that Threshers and that and that uh, and that um, that Orlando right below it. But a lot of great stuff here. Let's do a little keep two drop two. I'll start with you, Snap. Keep two drop two. All right. Let's keep, of course, the hat that I'm wearing. Area 51 is up there. Mm -hmm. And let's keep. Let's keep the, the, the Threshers. I, I don't have that hat. So okay. those are nice. Let's drop. Let's drop the, the threshers of the trucker. So the threshers is a trucker. So you still want to? Yeah, I don't have a trucker or that logo. So and it's blue. All right, and it's got just a making under. sure you knew it was a trucker because I've heard you. Uh, I've heard you kind of denounce yeah. truckers in the past. <laughs> I have, but that one's not bad. Um, let's drop the Jeters. What? Drop the Jeters. Yeah, I'm dropping the Jeters. I'm. Uh, it's it's okay. Buggy. I mean. Jeter, right. Jeter, Jeter didn't send Snap a gift basket after their night together, so he's always going to be pissed about that. I'm a Paul O'Neill fan, okay? I don't fuck with Paul O'Neill. Paul O'Neill. I like Paul O'Neill, Mariano Listen, Rivera. I, I'm one of the biggest Jeter haters on the planet, but there's no way I'm picking Paul O'Neill over Derek Jeter. <laughs> Paul O'Neill was the shit back in the 98, 99, 2000, 2001. Yeah. Jeter didn't do anything. There are no. All right, I'm, yeah, I'm, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm looking for enthralling and informative baseball knowledge, I, I'm not knocking on your door. All right. Well, all I but know basketball, is... Yeah, basketball, you're, you're, you're good. You're, yeah, you're yeah. Good. Yeah, but baseball, no, I'm not... No, I just realized, like, like I'm about to buy MLB The Show, the new one, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm going to know all the baseball players. That's where Leon gets 95% of his knowledge from baseball. Mm. Right, Leon? Yeah, and Instagram. And Instagram. Mm -hmm. And sometimes your conversations with me, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. And the videos we've done together. All right, cool. So keep two drop two. Leon, <laughs> how about you? Uh, all right. Let's keep uh, the friends of uh, Foxboro. I love mm -hmm. that. Let's keep um, the uh, San Bernardino. The Griffin. Okay. okay. Uh, I will drop. The what the heck am I gonna drop now? I'll drop the LA is an 81, mm -hmm. just because it's an, like an on field basically. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, what's beside the the White Sox? 
That's a know. that's a reds. Oh, the sliding red guy. Yeah, yeah. the sliding red guy. Okay. All right, I'll drop the uh, Orlando trucker. Orlando Rays trucker. Interesting. Hey Ryan, what do you got to say about quantities tonight, buddy? Did he hit? <laughs> yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. All right, cool. All right, uh, let's move on to Topper Store USA, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to you, Jason. Uh, a little keep two, drop two for Topper Store USA this week. Uh, I, okay, I'm gonna keep that Kinston, and yes, I said it correctly, Indians. <laughs> I know, um, Kingston is like it, I, I've I've got this perpetual like correction thing going on right now with Kingston yeah. Indians. Like everyone Kingston. says Kingston, Kingston Jamaica. Kingston. Yeah, they didn't play in Jamaica. They played North Carolina. <laughs> that Kingston right. came out really good, man. That Kingston yeah. came out really good. Uh, and then we'll, hmm, I'm I would say the Chihuahuas, but that's too obvious. So I'm gonna go with the uh, Rio Grande Valley Vipers nice. as my second Ooh, okay. keeper. Interesting. Uh, and we're gonna drop. I know you. Uh, I know you guys did a pre-order on it. I'm just not feeling that Chicago Cubs. And then that one went bananas. I know, I know, but I I don't know. Uh, and then I will drop the. Hmm, that's a tough choice. Uh, let's just do the Richmond Virginians. I think I think I would have preferred that as a plain Jane. Hmm. Okay. All right. And How about you? Uh, go ahead. Sorry about that. Don't piece. He plays uh, Backstreet Boys in In Sync and Britney Spears at his store. Okay. All right. Don't piece. I, I, I'm sorry I didn't answer your question. Listen, I've got like twenty five thousand things going on here, and um, none of them are working. So, um, um, it's hard for me to answer questions. But my uh, usually Anna, if Anna's there, it's Cardi B, another Bronx related rap. If I'm there, it's just the same, but no Cardi B. All right. Um. <laughs> Maxi, how about you? Keep two, drop two. All right, I'm looking at my phone because you know I'm old as shit, so these images are small. They are quite but small. I'm, yeah, I'm keeping that uh, that Las Vegas. I'm digging that brown on that baby. Those That's aviators. A... Mm -hmm. Um, I'm also gonna keep the. Uh, let's go ahead and keep the uh, obviously the the fifty one, right? Nice little two tone action. Yep. So I kept two, now I'm dropping two, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, this is hard, man, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop that Cubs. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just there's other things that are better. Mm -hmm. And I will drop the... Again, it's nothing wrong with it. It's just I've seen better variations that you've come out with, the the, the hooks. Okay. Um, I like rusty I'm, hook. I'm revoking your Spanish card. How do you not keep the Chihuahuas hat, brother? Huh? How did you not keep the Chihuahuas? Who the fuck are you to revoke my card? <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh. I don't know who the fuck you are. All right. Yeah. Are you my, if, you, if you were going to say it, if you're going to say it, say the Chihuahuas. Right? Wow. What did I say? Chihuahuas. That's so how I said it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Three of my favorite hats that we've done are 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 here. That actually four. The Chihuahuas. That rawhide is underrated, man. That thing is crazy. That that the Celia hat is insane. Um, the Kinston Indians, and then believe it or not, the Las Vegas Aviators. Like I just like the way it came out. Like it just looks the best it Aviators looks, hat we've seen ever. Uh, it's just I think it came out really, really good. I'm gonna tell you guys honestly, the hooks was my when I opened it was probably my least favorite of the shipment. And God. the only reason why the blue coats didn't sell is because it's a plain Jane. If that had a side patch on it, it would have been a little bit different. But um, I'm not a Sixers fan, but that blue blue coats hat is pretty cool. Um, but I'm with you, Jason. Maybe the Virginians could have been. We're in this weird space though. Like to be honest with you, plain Janes don't sell like that. Oh, I know, I know. They just don't. You know, I'm not. I'm tough. not blaming you at all. I just, for me personally, I would prefer to play Jane. That's all. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. You ready to go? Move on to the next store. We got mm -hmm. home game. Oh yeah. All right. So home game had these two Mets hats. Do you guys remember the collaborator? Yeah. Wasn't this um, Brooklyn Boy? Yeah. 
Yep, and he uh, dropped these two. They're based on uh, Johan Santana, one of the greatest uh, left-handers in the history of the game. I haven't um, heard that name in a while. It's been Is a while. Here we go he's again. Why are our cameras disappearing again? Not our cameras. They're not overheating. S snaps overheating our cameras with this sexiness. <laughs> it was a but either way, you can still, you guys can still hear us. So, um, thoughts yeah. on these guys, uh, Leon? What are your thoughts on these? Uh, I like them. I like the the on field one look, the on field looking one a little bit better. But I mean, it's not mm -hmm. much different than a normal like Matt's hat with a fifty patch. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for the the piping one. I love the piping yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Give him that pipe. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, lay all lay, lay all the pipe on me. You can. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That's probably my favorite one out of the two as well. What did he say? I, just like that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, that that piping job on that one. Uh huh. Mm. Uh -huh. okay. Jason, what do you, what, which was your favorite of the two? I'm assuming the the pipe. uh, the, 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 the piping one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a clean looking hat. Johan Santana had one of the best changeups in the history of baseball. Yeah. Yeah, he was dominant for a long time. Yeah. Uh, not for a long time. Oh, uh, but his fault. It wasn't a long time. It was, but he was when he was dominant. He was dominant. Like five. He five had years, one of those. He had one of those. What's that? He was probably like the best pitcher in baseball for like five years. Yeah, but that's not a long time. Was it? I mean, him? no. It's his his peak was not long. Leon, do you yeah. want do you want to pull up the statistics? I mean, you know. in, we'll open up MLB the show and you tell us. I only every, know. Time, every, every time we we do this, like I'm telling you, he doesn't have like he he didn't have a long peak. I only know three players for the Mets: Daryl Strawberry. Mike you Piazza, know the, you know all the co kids and the guy that's like still making money from them, even though he hasn't played for years. You don't even know that Bobby, Bobby Bonilla. You know. <laughs> so he was a four time all star, okay, mm -hmm. a two time AL Cy Young, mm -hmm. 04 and 06, mm -hmm. won the triple crown in 06, mm -hmm. uh, was the win leader in 06, ERA leader in 04, 06, and 08. So maybe five years. Okay. Yeah. Maybe five. It's a short peak. But but his best years were three years with the Twins and his first two years with the Mets. Yeah. I'm just saying that that's the, the top of the top. That's oh no, I mean he won no, the no, triple no. crown. That's like no, he, yeah, Leon. He wasn't. He doesn't have the career numbers that are going to be like with like the guys that had sustained excellence. For a yeah. majority of their career, he did not. He was not an excellent pick, pitcher for uh, fifteen years. He was like he had a yeah, peak, sure. and he he was relevant. I don't know for a decade. Yeah, you know, and I know that sounds like a long time, but when you start looking at guys like Nolan Ryan and some of these legendary, even even like a Clayton Kershaw, like you know, mm -hmm. there's there's a long track record of winning. Yeah, he only, he only played twelve years essentially. But one of them was. Lost injury. Yeah. I'm wondering with all these injuries going down, are we shifting back into like pitchers having that short peak season again? You're never gonna see you're never gonna see the numbers that you saw in the past because of them preserving these pitchers. And then if if they only get five innings, right? Because that's an official game in the books, mm -hmm. there's way more variables when you're when you're when you're going from from innings six through nine that has to be saved. Rather than like a guy that goes seven or eight innings, and then you have a one, you know, a one inning save or a two inning, you know, yeah. a setup guy, and then a one inning save. There's way more variables when you shorten the starter's game. So statistically, they're going to lose numbers like strikeouts and whatnot, but they're also going to lose a lot of wins. Yeah, that could potentially have been garnered, but wins are a bullshit statistic anyway in baseball. More of a team stat. when it comes to pitchers. Mm-hmm. You're looking at their strikeout to walk ratio, their whip. You're looking at their 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 ERA. You're looking at stuff like that. You know, win loss. I mean, we've seen Degrom have some of the most dominant seasons ever in baseball, and he's and he's a 500 pitcher, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Didn't he win the Cy Young like with a 500 record? Like an eight win season, I think, or something. Who's that? Like that? Degrom. 
grown. Mm. Uh, he might have had a losing record that season. I think I think it was five hundred. It might be a losing. You might be right. Yeah. Uh the three best changeups of my lifetime were were duffel bag who you you bring one up as Maddox, Santana, and Pedro. Those are the three best changeups I've ever seen in my lifetime. And the key, the key, and it's interesting because Maddox, he didn't throw a heater. So Johan and Pedro, the reason why their changeups were even more effective was because they were like throwing 98 one minute, and then the next minute they're throwing a you know a, a 88 mile an hour changeup. So Maddox was very impressive too. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys ready to move along? Yep. Woo, right. child, yes, Lord. <laughs> Oh, um, Hack Club is here, and there's a lot of it. Here goes the draft class. Um, so they decided to do their little draft, cl- their little draft class of of teams, and these were pretty cool, man. Um, I like that Mets a lot. I like uh, the Red Sox, the Phillies, the Pirates, the Yankees, the Dodgers. I feel like this is a this is a collection that Pierre would have bought every single one of the hats back in the day. Um, yeah, I might have. I don't know though. I feel like you're more likely to buy the Jackie set than the draft set. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Jackie, they put the weird bat the the um ninety seven All Star game patch on the back of a lot of these. Oh, they did? Really? Yes. What? So oh, I nice. wasn't a fan of that. That's a clean thing. Do that? Because that was the year that they the fiftieth anniversary of Jackie, and that's when they put this on yeah. the the All Star Game sleeves, I, stuff I like think that. All the jerseys had them, both patches the whole year. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I, I've seen Jackie patches on almost every team. I never seen it on a Mets hat, and especially with that orange crown. I really like this Mets Jackie Robinson. Very rare. Have you guys ever seen a Mets hat with a fifty with a Jackie fifty? Yeah, That's not this though, not this colorway because Lids did every team. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That colorway is pretty pretty cool. What did Lids yeah. do? Like all one solid crown, like off off they white. They did their on field with the Jackie yeah. patch on it. Yeah. With a grounder. Yeah. <sighs> well, we 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 got about a hundred slides of hat clubs, so. Well, what did you get? No, but I want to. I want to ask you guys. So I want to ask. Besides snap, what were you guys, Jason? Did you like this draft pack? I like the concept of it. I don't know if we needed eleven teams of it. Um, but no, that's a cool concept. I, I just don't get the connection between the '96 NBA draft and Major League Baseball. Like, why not just really release the the NBA draft hats? I don't know. I, it's a cool concept, though. I get it. Uh, yeah. Jackie ones, I, I like some of the colorways they did, like the Florida Marlins. Um, the Seattle is always a throwback to that jersey. Um, yeah, the Seattle always makes sense. Yeah, well, but both colors just, look good. Yeah, these, these just kind of been done before, though. Let me ask you guys a question mm-hmm. uh, when mm-hmm. they do the MLB draft. Do they give hats to the people that they choose? No, they don't even have a room, man. They don't even televise it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. No, okay. no, because there's like 85,000 rounds in the Major League Baseball. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And most of them take like 10 years to make it to the team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like, like the, farm, the farm systems are so deep and stuff. Like, they get these players and, I mean. Very mm-hmm. rarely will a player even play in the Major Leagues even the next season after they now, let me ask you one more question. How in the in the NBA, the '96 draft is like the best draft ever. Is there a best ever draft in baseball? Listen, drafts aren't like in baseball. Drafts aren't like they're not like that. It's not like the NFL draft or the NBA draft where ever, there's so much hype leading up to it. And people are talking about, you know, the one player I remember as a kid um, that was really hyped that was Brian Taylor, a pitcher for the Yankees. They thought he was going to be the next like. Big thing. I'll never forget Brian Taylor. I went and got his rookie cards and stuff. Like, even though I was I was a baseball card collector back then, and he ended up being nobody. I mean, you don't really see that same sort of hype for the baseball draft that you do for other drafts. They're too deep. It's too diluted. Like Jason said, some of these players, 
it seems to be five years before they see the major league, the majors. Like, it's just like, it's a completely different Remember, field. And, and snap too. a lot of the players, like half of the players in the major league draft are just coming out of high school. So they won't yeah. even sniff the, the major leagues for another five, six years. Oh, also, so, oh, so that was the last question I had about baseball. Anybody yeah. can be drafted in baseball? No, like, you know, no, no. International players cannot be drafted. Um, right. th- Yep. So they got to sign through the international pool, which is a whole different thing. But basically, if you're a high school senior, a college junior, or a college senior, you can get drafted. Yeah. Well, and some also, and some and some players actually get drafted three times. Yeah. Yeah. Some players get drafted. And they go back to they go back, college. or they get drafted out of high school and they go play college ball. Like it's like yeah. Listen, the the, the NBA and NFL like they get drafted. They're playing. Mo- you're a first rounder. You're playing next year, right? <laughs> you know, you're yeah. playing in the league. They care so little about a little bit about the draft. And they draft during the season. <laughs> and, I, and, okay. and for all right, it's and, and for like minor leagues, I could just be a guy off the street and play for a minor league team if I'm good. You can yeah, play theoretically, for like a, theoretically, yes. If you're not eligible for the draft, sure, you, you could. You play in the independent contract, yeah, or in the independent league, right? And then hope yeah. to get. Scouted, uh, but there is one draftee that did kind of change the game, which is uh, Carter Stewart Jr., drafted by the Braves, and then through his agent decided not to go with the minor leagues because they were paying absolutely nothing. Signed over in Japan, Japan, yeah, in Japan for multi million dollars, is now crafting it to when his contract is up over there, he'll come back here and be suitable, hopefully. Wow, no. okay. But- we don't know okay. if it's going to be good yet. But yes, to answer your question, theoretically, anybody can sign with a, a major league organization essentially at any time. Yeah. Todd Van Poppel was another one. I remember him too for the A's, right? Like he was another big, uh, big potential star. It's just uh, fucking bullshit. Like the, the, it's hard to scout these players. I mean, they're scouting these guys in, in, in high school and no. trying to figure yeah. out what they're going to project in middle be. school. No, you're right. We're, if it's we're, already, thing, we're already getting hit up to sign up for recruiting sites and and shit like that for both baseball and basketball. And yeah. we're in seventh grade. Yeah. yeah. I, I will say, with these draft hats, though, I would have liked them without the side patch. I, yeah, I get why they did the side patch that way. But that's how the original hats uh, were. That, yeah, that's how the NBA draft hats were. I, I, yeah. I would have rather just seen the NBA draft hats again in a field. Yeah. They don't but like again, that. like it, it's like everyone's so afraid of I know making a basketball hat. Like, yeah. yeah. But, All right, well, go ahead, yeah. go ahead, Jason. What no, I was saying? just gonna say that's. I mean, give me the Iverson one because he was drafted that year. Give me, you know, but that those logos are exclusively to Mitchell and Ness. That's true. They're, they're retro logos, so and and uh, the new era can't u- use them. Yeah. But true. Mm, fair enough. Good point, Snap. Very good point. Let's move on to the second slide of Hack Club, and we're going to do a little keep two drop two. I'll start with you, Leon. All right. Let's go. Uh, give me the Braves because it's, ma- mm-hmm. it's Masters Week, right, Jason? What? Right now? It's Masters Week. Oh, yeah. Week. Masters Week. Yeah. Tiger made yeah. the cut. There you go. There you 25 go. 25 years break. in a row. Give me the Braves top left. Because it's Masters Week, I'll take the KC looking like the Jayhawk hat right there. I will drop the Maroon Pirate and the White Chicago. Okay. How about you, Snap? Keep two, drop two. We're going to drop the Maroon Pirate. We're going to drop the California Angels hat in orange. I'm going to keep my tomahawk stick. And I'm going to... Keep uh, the Oakland A's Ricky. Okay. Let's go to the next slide of Hat Club. And I'll ask you, Maxi, to keep two, drop two. I will keep that Scorpions and keep the, let's say, the Philadelphia Phillies. I will drop that that um, Atlanta Braves. Okay. And I will drop the 
Oh, this one's hard. The uh, you know what? Let's let's stick with it. I'll I'll drop the Arizona Diamondbacks in the same colorway. All right, okay. Jason. What's your least favorite hat on here? Um, the Tacoma Rainiers because it's got ripstop nylon and mismatched patches. Do the Rainiers have one like that? I don't think they do, right? That's the no, it's a Mariners logo on the side. Yeah. Really? All right, let's move on to uh, hat dreams, fellas. With a compass, a TR with a compass, I think. I think they do. I think they do have a compass. Oh, maybe they do. Well, but either not, way, I don't like it. Not an isolated compass. Yeah, I don't like the colors, but. All right, we'll move on to hat dreams, guys. Uh, Snap, you want to take us? Through? Oh, actually, Leon, you probably could take us through this, right? Yeah. Let me pull the, uh, the, the email from Kyle. So they usually do their. Uh, drops on Wednesdays and mm -hmm. um and uh Saturdays. So the we are looking at that one. Which is, should be this one. I love had dreams, but I'm I'm kinda disappointed in this drop. This is really not... Yeah. Why? Uh look at the San Francisco. You got purple brim Hot pink outline. Uh, who knows what they did on a side patch. Then look at the Georgetown. You know we're done with color eyelets uh, now. The grab your crayons. Uh, the Orioles hat with this green and yellow and then the orange guy in the front. Uh, then you got the, what team is that? Seattle? No, that's the Spokane Indians. Spokane Indians. I'm not a fan of that side patch. Milwaukee Brewers is probably the only hat on the slide that I approve of. What I mean, what do you think? A lot of chrome. A lot of chrome. A lot. Pick one. Pick which hat would you pick? Invest your fifty-five dollars on. Listen, I'm not disagreeing with you. I don't think this is a great drop from them. I don't. But if I had to pick one, I'd go Milwaukee. I mean, I like the Orioles hat, but I don't like the way the side patch is colored. I don't understand what what that color has to do with anything. Why is it green in there? Yeah. Maybe because it's a green undervisor. I don't know. The shock drop Brewers was the is the one for me. Yeah, the Brewers is probably mm. the the best one there. I don't know. Like I said, I like the Orioles. If maybe it was if the side patch was colored differently. I like Chrome. Listen, I like Chrome. I just don't necessarily think. I don't know. I think it loses something when you're doing like white on the front of Chrome. I don't. I don't know. It just doesn't pop the same way. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like when you look at San Francisco and the Brewers, I think it could have looked a lot better if it wasn't white. Yeah. Yeah, these aren't the best pictures either, though. Honestly. Right. Yeah. Correct. I'm just ju I'm just judging by the pictures. Yeah, they probably look better when you have them in hand. I mean, these aren't the best mm -hmm. pictures, frankly. All right. Well, let's move on to Liz HD. So. Uh, this was like their Paul Wall pack, which was, uh, from what I understand, was primarily designed by Christian, right? That is correct, except one hat that was designed the by Laura, right? the other guy, yeah. Paul Wall? No, it was designed by uh, oh, somebody Scott else B. that works. Mm -hmm. Scott B. Free, okay. Yeah, so let's do this. Like, let's, Jason, um, why, don't you, uh, why don't you give me your top four? I have to pick four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think these uh, are bad. You guys think these are bad? Um, I know it's like it feels a lot like um, Hang Time Houston, but yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, I mean it's, maybe it's just the pictures. I don't know. These are yeah. way better than Hang Time Houston. I'm telling you that. Yo, much. but it feels like, but the, no, no, I no, no. I'm saying because Hang Time Houston has all kinds of Houston hats. I don't, I don't mind these hats at all. Well, I'm just thinking. I just feel like Houston's getting spammed so hard right now. It's ridiculous. By hat club and lids, especially. Yeah, it's like it's just like it's uh, so much, man. All right, give me the one. Right? Am wearing. I wrong or no? 
No, they're they're out there bat trying to take. They're trying to see who's going to take over Houston. Who's the king of Houston? Lids or Hat Club? Give me the Vegas Gold one. Okay. Um, God, I got to pick two more. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll go with the Jackie one, although it makes the least sense out of all of these. And then, um, the Jackie one looks nice though. It looks it's, nice though. Yeah, color it's a good colorway. Color yeah. Jackie. Um, yeah. fuck. <laughs> Yeah, the purple Los Astros. I always got to pick up a Selena hat when I can. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Lie. I like every single hat except the one with the color eyelets. I like the color eyelets love... on the best. That side patch is is pretty dope. Yeah, I was saying. Yeah, I, was saying I, I think. Color see, color with that. orange, with that that big of a contrast between the hat and the eyelets, the like orange on navy blue. I actually do. I don't mind color eyelets there. You know what? What's Paul Wall got to do with this shit, man? I mean, he's from Houston, and he buys. Oh, no, I know. Williams. <laughs> he goes to that store. He's been to a lot of their drops, and Christian was like, "Hey, let, let me cut you a check real quick." He at least likes hats, though, so it's not like a- no, he does. No, no, he does. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. It felt like they were made by him, right? It wasn't really made clear. Well, that's what they're. Am that's I wrong? What, that's what I keep seeing. It, like it says, said, that he said listed it as a like, designer. Yeah. Well, what what happened, Jason, was that um, I uh, Pierre posted the pack on his page, right? And I said Paul Wall needs to make Lids his hats for now on. So then Lids <laughs> com- Lids comments underneath my comment, and they're like, Paul Wall didn't design these. Christian no, Christian Catatini did. And I'm like, oh well, give well, him promo- a raise. They're promoting then. it as Paul Wall designed hats. Of course, yeah. Literally. Like he's gonna be, he's gonna be there signing autographs and shit. Like, yeah, I, don't know why, I can't remember the last time Pat and I did a. Uh, we got three Houston Astros hats coming, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but before that, we were on like a I don't know, like a six month hiatus. <laughs> we didn't do any so, Houston hats for six months. Paul Wall is like, uh, Lids is guy, right? Bun B is with Better Generation. And then you got the newcomer. Uh, he's a newcomer rapper. I forgot his name. He's the one that's with Hat Club. Yeah, but Bun B's not really better. Bun, generation. More Bun with B's like a new era the guy. Astros. Like he's been yeah. doing this for a long oh, time. Oh, new era. Okay. He's yeah, he's always been around. Right. He's collaborated with the Astros directly and dropped stuff right in, right in the stadium. Snap, are you talking about uh, that Mexican OT? Yes, him. I, I don't know. Yeah. He's new, right? He's like a new rapper. You know, he's definitely not Paul Wall. Right. Didn't he do yeah, something with Society, too? That guy? No, no, he didn't. No? No. no. He did Mexican. something with another show. Mexican OT only has done stuff with Hat Club. I sure. want to say you're wrong. He did it with some I other store. Remember. I swear he did a West Coast store. Who? Yeah. No, no, no. Mexican OT. Who cares? <laughs> and and then eight one shop does it with the all the donut shops, right? Or is that big city? <laughs> no, that's eight one. Eight one. Yeah, they they've uh, they've just... memorialized every uh every donut shop in Houston. Big city just does their own thing. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. All right, guys. So let's uh let's move along here to my fitted. So my fit has dropped a lot of hats. Um there's a lot here. There's a lot here. So let's dive in a little bit. Maxi, keep three, drop three. So I've seen that White Sox in hand because, you know, John asked me to get it for him over in Canada. Uh, I'd keep mm-hmm. it, though. Very nice in hand. Okay. That Montreal Expos with the – it's, it's kind of like a cascading logo, but a little bit different, right? Um, I've always been mm-hmm. a fan of that logo since I've seen it in variations. Like it, keep it. And I'm going to keep that Scooby-Doo. Um, I know it might be the only one that keeps it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Can we kick him off the show just for saying that? <laughs> you guys needed somebody You're going to wear that fucking little. thing, dude? You'd wear that? Why that the fuck wouldn't I? Maryland Comic Con. Where, where would you wear that? To New York City Comic Con. 
You would get beat up by nerds. You were, <laughs> you were, you you have to understand. You were talking to somebody who literally has a green Power Ranger tattooed on him. <laughs> you know. Uh, in terms of, are you going to get this though, as a tramp stamp next? Uh, <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely, that's Jesus. past my generation. I can't listen. I love John Jay and everything, and most of the things he does. But come on, man, that Scooby Doo hat is. It, but nah. it makes sense. Are you saying it doesn't make sense, or are you just saying you don't like it? What do you mean makes sense? How's that? How's all that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. It, it it makes sense in terms of the show and the fabric that we use and, and the type of vibe that well, it. Why 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 Paisley? They walked around with Paisley. It's just a groovy time era. Yeah, the groovy, the groovy stuff. Paisley's groovy. Oh, shut up, Snap! Like you just fucking lurked in here to say the groovy stuff. You don't even know what the, you don't like that no, hat no, either. No, because they was they was they were hippies. The fu- these they kids were. right here. Okay, so let me tell you about the, the Scooby Doo. You just think they're out there looking for ghosts? No, these motherfuckers was out getting high and and having sex. Uh, sex. They were they were they were there to get to have sex and get high, and they're riding around in the hippie ass van. And the fucking dog can talk because they're high as fuck. That's why Shaggy, Shaggy's the one that's the highest of them all. You oh, know what Shag, I mean? Shaggy definitely smokes. But the dewy. chick, the chick with the yeah. orange hair, she's getting the the the, the girl uh, with the not Thelma, the other chick, she's yeah. getting ran through. Yeah, she's getting ran oh, through. She 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 all fucking right. hits it hard. You know that. Yeah, yeah, y'all are bugging. No, this show wasn't about fucking just fucking going. Oh, it was about fucking. Come on, man. Yeah. It, it, what, that mystery the, the hat's not. That, that, that mystery Scooby van, that, man. the mattress <laughs> in the back of that mystery van. You do not want to shine a black light on that. <laughs> you, you guys, who else likes that Scooby Doo hat? Before we get into um this the the three drops from uh, Mexi. What? Huh? What do you guys think? Well, Who else likes Scooby-Doo? I like Doo the hat? Seattle. I, oh, I don't like Scooby-Doo, no. A few Leon? moments later. Mm-mm. Hard no. Yeah. All right, now your drop three, Maxi. What are your three drops? All right, well, uh, I will drop that. Is that a Boston Celtics? Yep, that was like the Necco wafers, but done with the Celtics this time. Mm, I don't like it with that logo. Dropped. Uh, I will drop the Seattle Mariners, and I will go uh, the Seattle, not the camo one. The, okay. Yeah. Arch. The arch. Okay. Not a fan of that. And then All right. I will drop the fifty ones. Really? Not a col- not a fan of that color. Oh, that's like Leon's fucking binky color right there. <laughs> All right, Leon. Old. Keep three. Drop three. I'm keeping the slime fifty one. I'm keeping the New York uh, Mets the with the all them scripts and the words and all that stuff. And uh, I'll get a little crazy. I'll keep the uh, the ripped, the distressed denim White Sox. Okay. Dropping pink camo, Seattle. I'm dropping uh, arch. Really? Yeah. Okay. I might like. Uh... No, no, don't let me change your mind. I I was just shocked uh, that you didn't like that one. Well, I'm thinking how many times I can drop the Scooby Doo. So Scooby Doo definitely ain't dropped, and then the Arch Seattle uh, reverse. No one's like that Dodger Nation. I kind of like what he did with that Dodger Nation hat. You know, it's got the Dodger dog on the side. It was a different take on it. Yeah, it's it's, it's cool. Like it's like a cool if you're a fan that's a of cool the team. fan hat, man. If you're a Dodgers yeah, fan, you're a fan of the team, or if you're Dodger, a fan of the Blizzards, Yankees right now. Yeah, he's using a lot of nine uh fifty nine fifty A frames too. Mm-hmm. I like that so San you're seeing... Diego logo. I just I'm not sure about the, on the A frame. It makes it look like a it's five just... head. Well, those were um custom logos made for Kaplan, maybe? Kaplan, I think. Yeah, they drew. Oh, those are yeah. those are cool logos. I like both of those. Yeah, there's only good. there's only one hat I like on here, and can you guys guess which hat it is? It's Scooby. Oh, uh, let me guess. Wow. For let me guess, snap. Uh, Only one. The Mets hat. No. I don't know, man. I don't know. The Padres uh, script with the Petco. Oh, I love that hat. Is really nice. Never would have guessed. I heard it's a community logo. 
Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Mm-hmm. You know, Snap doesn't listen. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, so, no. I like, I like, all right, so I like the Dodgers Nation hat. I like, I do like the 51s, even though I'm not a fan of Volt. I like, I like both of those San Diego hats. You like the Dodger Nation hat with the hot dog guy? I oh just my, fucking I said did. that, dude. I told you he doesn't listen. No, all. no, no. I know you said that you liked it, but now it's my time to talk. Yeah, you, I, I think I think it's a different. It's an interesting hat. I think it's a different take on it. How much you shit it on this wiener dog, and now you like it? I didn't say I liked it. I said I like this hat. I don't mind. It. It's a different take. It's. A, I just said it would be a good fan hat. You weren't listening, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, but no, but you was you was talking mad shit about that wiener, man. I did I say <laughs> no? I was he was talking mad shit about your wiener. <laughs> no, I've never cool. seen that. Thank God. <laughs> but uh, the Dodger Nation hat, I think, is a good fan hat. I do. I think it's an excellent hat. And I do like what he's doing with the fifty nine fifty fitted a frames. For those that haven't tried them, I think they're great hats, man. I don't care what anybody says. And um, they're starting to they're starting to gain traction too. But um, that's my fit, is guys. Let's move on to new era cap. Um, so now, what do you what do you put on your glizzy? Join ketchup, mustard, and salt and coleslaw. Sauerkraut or coleslaw? Oh, coleslaw, coleslaw. coleslaw. I like slaw dogs. Vin- vin- vinegar or mayo based? You're trying to trick us again, there. Mayo, Brian? mayo, mayo or, based. Okay. Did somebody join? It's- I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. The fuck? Did we just get hacked? I don't know. Yeah, what we the, did. Somebody, somebody just, just got in here. Uh oh. What the fuck was that? Nobody joined. That's Lincoln. He's got the soundboard and he's pretending like someone joined. There's no one here. You can see on the bottom. Nobody's. Damn it. That wasn't me. <laughs> Fucking Blinken. Are you right, serious? So, uh, the whole show when you decided to pull that off, uh, Blinken? Huh? Is camera fine? Is camera finally cooled down enough? <laughs> what, where weird. did you find that weird sound bite, though? What? Which that was, was that sound bite? That was just his own voice. Was that Tyrone? Who was that? He just just because you hear it. a black man instantly, his name's Tyrone. That's racist. Mm. That wasn't interesting. I didn't say nothing. No did no, <laughs> no diddy. Let's continue on, guys. So we're at New Era Cap, right? New Era Cap dropped the big league chew 2.0, Probably. right? Yeah. So we, I know we usually don't put New Era Cap hats. I said I gotta put this slide and talk about this big league chew repeat right here that New Era Cap did. Did they do it better than Lids? No. Because we only yep. needed one of these ever. I and, think they did a better job than Lids. And Lids, Lids already did. They beat you to the punch, New Era Cap. Just go back to making your fucking Earth Day f- fucking shit. I nobody asked for this. What I, what go I away. found what I found interesting is that the first thing I noticed was an Expos hat, and I'm like, wow, Expos. Oh, I from, remember the days I used to buy a lot of Expos hats and. For the last two years, they kind of disappeared on me, man. Only Lids likes to do Expos hats. I think Don't New Era Cap did. I think New Era Cap did a better job with them, though. The best, the best colorway though was a snapback. I like, I like. I'm gonna say I like these because in the Lids version, they wrote something on the side of the hat, on the front of the hat, didn't they? Yeah, a lot of they, 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 They've had the flavor on there. Yeah. It had the flavor on the front of the hat. Yeah. So I'm going with New Era Cap did a better version. Yeah, but these are showing up. But there's a new version showing up in lids too. The script. Yeah, the script. Yeah, the script the off white ones, not bad. Yeah. Jesus. I picked up three of the scripts because I had and none of you fuckers actually chew big league chew. So like, what? What is, what is this? Like, what, what are you talking about? Yes, I do. Doesn't true, big league chew. No, I have also Scooby. You also wear Scooby Doo hats, so you don't count. You're like a four year old kid. I joined <laughs> a softball team, and I am chewing on that big league chew. Well, I haven't had big league chew since the '90s, but I definitely remember eating big league chew. Why would you eat it? No, <laughs> he's more swallowed it and everything. 
Hey Lou, these these are snaps. I don't know why Snap is showing snaps, but not all of them are. Isn't the one on the left fitted? Just the pinstripes are fitted. Yeah. The rest are snaps. Oh, what you got to think of that snaps now? Because because that's what kids wear. <laughs> all right. And the only way to right. oh, have big league shoes, you got to take the whole pack. One shot. <clears throat> yep. The only way to do it. All right, guys. Well, let's move on to Noble North. Leon, you want to take us through Noble North? Noble North. Yeah, they brought back uh, their crow um, design. I think the original one was done all black. This one's black two tone with uh, purple, gray under. Mm -hmm. uh, got you, got you some uh, Baltimore vibes a little bit, but yeah, this uh... this is a raven, not a crow. Come on, I thought you were Ooh. a resident animal expert. Yeah, but Jesus the Baltimore Christ. ravens. What are you talking about? Oh, because I called it a crow? You yeah. called it a crow. Oh, okay, my bad. It's a raven. Yeah, thank you. Um, But that's what I was saying about the Baltimore. It gives you Baltimore vibes. It does. Raven. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. From Nobleman. I like this. I like this hat. All right. All right, let's move on. To, let's move on to uh, Pro Image uh, that Leon works with. Ooh. All right. So we teased... Iron Pigs drop? No, none of these dropped yet. Um, oh, okay. So we were Fuck teasing these. We, we we got a, a a lot of stuff coming in for the next couple of weeks. Uh, but the Iron Pigs was hooked to their Sunday uniform. Um, they wear that uh, maroon color on Sunday, so they uh, have that. We put the uh, alternate logo on the side. Uh, Denver Nuggets. We took their championship um, hat. And uh, we digitized the side patch for the uh, the championship. We put that on like a team color hat, um, and then a like a Vegas gold black metallic gold um, Rocky hat. And then the first of the multiple um, the business is bad pack. So that's all money um, hooked hats. The first one to George Washington for the dollar bill. They Look, whatever Leon posts on his page, I just grab it and and put it on the thing because. Uh, uh, I don't. I I never understand when the drop dates are or what they're doing over there. Leon, I need that Iron Pigs hat. Got you. Seven and a half. I got you. That's good hat. All right, cool. Any thoughts on these, Maxi? I really like that Iron Pigs, but again, Lehigh Valley was my third home, and uh, I like that uh, that Washington just screaming at you. Fan, nice job, Leon. Thank you. All right, cool. Well, let's move on to Pro Society in uh, Houston. Whoa, all right, Pro Society Dodgers Otani with the 17th. Is that it? Is that still an Angels logo or is that just Otani's logo? They updated oh, that's the new Dodgers. That's the new Dodgers one. Yeah, they oh, okay. it, there's a little Dodger logo. It's pretty cool. The picture's not doing it justice. Open, open a second location in Houston? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Fitted Dad has been working a lot with Prociety. Um, and they're going on vacation with a trucker hat. Floral trucker Houston Actually, Astros. Like mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just I do. He did some really got, good stuff, but these three Houston hats. I mean, he's done some really good stuff over there, but these three Houston hats are not good. I like the floor. I like the floral one. The drip in the the sandstorm; those can go away. Mm -hmm. So that's have a sandstorm PTSD. Yeah, God. remember how we touched the grass when the sandstorms were coming in? And um, I heard they was already camping out at Pro Society uh, since yesterday. Oh, sure. Or Saturday. They got a big drop, big drop tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What's dropping tomorrow for the the Rushmore? And, oh, right, right, right. not Rushmore. Sneaker Just Fiend day. day and uh, off the dome. Yeah, off the dome too. Oh, the domers are over there too. They're gonna be there. I don't know if they design the hats or not. No, just just sneaker fiend day has hats with them. Okay, but every all every, all the Rushmore lovers are in LA right now. Good good All right, let's move on to Sneaker Town. 
I hope they have Home a wonderful the, weekend. If it's not Bangladesh, we're going to make it look like one. <laughs> Is that what they're doing? <laughs> God are damn. You new? We, we established this like a month ago. Are you new here? Snap. What are you talking? I don't understand. I, I really don't understand why why I said this coming about sneaking town, but okay. All right, I do well, notice that their hats look like pink. Let me show you. Let me show you an example. Look at the St. Louis hat, right? Okay. That doesn't look like extra Bangladeshi to you. Yeah, it looks like they flattened it more, right? From the from the top. Yeah. The Indians, when they couldn't, they left a little crease in it. They tried so hard, but they just couldn't make it happen. <laughs> So they try to sell has they try to lie to the public and, and oh, say Oh, well, I'm not saying they're lying. I'm saying that people find it more appealing if it's a lower crown. To me, these look like fucking messed up mushed crowns. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I know. that's how I feel too, man. Uh, the, got the now, pros. as far as the hats themselves, I think this is one of their best drops this year. I like that St. Louis one. Mm-hmm. That one's yeah, I ordered it whenever it came out and it still hasn't shipped, so love that. Those fuckers. Call Do you guys not them. know who this is? You're gonna call customer service. You're gonna call customer service and ask them. Call yeah, customer call service, buddy, and tell them Snap sent you. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, they suck. They're so fucking bad. I like I the, I've had to email them before because it took them four fucking days to ship a hat. I was like, Are you guys ever gonna ship my hat? Literally within seconds I got a fucking notification that my hat shipped. Four? Yeah, four days. Four days? It took that a four... beats Hat Club by like three. No, no. Hat Club, I, I bought those. Wait, uh... is this the hat you got in already? Or is is this the St. Louis hat that hasn't... No, 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 no. No, this was like a while back because I don't ever buy from Sneaker Town because of that shit. They're fucking... They're terrible. But I bought that St. Louis hat. It still hasn't shipped though and it came out, what, three days ago? It still hasn't shipped? Two days ago maybe? But I'm saying before I bought a hat from them and they didn't ship it for four days. I'm like, are you guys four fucking ship? days? That's God a long fucking it. time to wait for you to ship Sneaker a hat. Sneaker town. If you're hey, listen, Jesus. Besides, besides speaking to the Jamaican lady, listen, you don't make a guy with service. you don't make a guy with a pinky ring wait. Okay, you no. don't make a guy with a pinky no. ring wait. Snap, you don't fucking drive. Wait like hey, you're days. the close. You're the closest one to Sneaker Town. Drive down there and get this shit sorted out. This I is like, unacceptable. I, I don't have a problem with sneaker town. Uh, just anytime I ask questions about hats, that Jamaican lady gets mad at me. But other than that, um, they've they they've been nothing but good to me whenever I whenever I used to buy hats from them. Blanking, they're sneaker town, not hat town. Just give them a fucking minute. All yeah, right? you know what's crazy Jesus. is I bought a pair of sneakers from them. Literally shipped out the next day. I yeah, told you, in, in the they're name. set up to ship yeah. sneakers, not hats. It's insane. It's way different. It's way different. It's a whole different box. A whole different yeah. box. Yeah. You seem a little like really bent out of shape over this blanket. You know, four days to me is like, I mean, I know it's not like he spent what we do two grand, top, toppers, two grand like, on that St. Louis hat. He wants to yeah. ship fucking next day. Next time you just, next time you I call blanket. Blanket, when you call next time, you say, What the rascal block clock going on with my hat, man? <laughs> <laughs> and I just bet just you they start moving. Blanket's Let fucking get, fire up today. Blanket, you 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 made the purchase on Friday and they didn't ship till Tuesday. No, that's not what happened at all. It was like on a Monday, <laughs> and it was going. It was Thursday night, mm -hmm. and they still hadn't shipped it. And then I emailed them, and then like within four fucking seconds, like I said, they, they had an email sent. You're to me. one of those guys, Blanket. Yeah. You're yeah. one of those guys. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know your type. If I fucking I order a hat, I don't want it to take type guy. two weeks to See, get to hey, me. Blanken, sometimes it's bad customer surf service, but sometimes it's just bad customers. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's not me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Pinky Ring. Take it down a couple notches. That fucking Ooh. anger is starting to really boil over now. Blanken has had to click the tracking number a hundred million times. Jesus. Just give him a minute. No, that, they haven't huh. even given me a tracking number. That's the fucking thing. That's what God, I mean. They yeah, they don't ever give you the tracking number. Wait, it just showed days. up. No, no, no. I feel that. No, it didn't even show up. They just didn't ever send me anything. So what was the tone of the email? Like, were you being rude about it, or were you just no, asking for nothing? No, I wasn't being rude. I was like, are you guys ever gonna shit my hat? Sounds kind of rude. 
That's a Reed. that's a good comment, so Aaron, from Baltimore. We're gonna call him Karen Brims from now on, not Blanket <laughs> Brims. You know, fucking Karen. So I'm, I'm just, just saying, for an update. if 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 I order a hat, I expect it to be like shipped within a decent amount of time. Within a goddamn half an hour, and the correct size. This is the, yeah. the Amazon. Yeah, generation. The correct size. The next time Blanket asks for a hat from me, I'm gonna make sure it takes about three weeks to ship out. <laughs> okay, I won't ask for any more hats. Or better yet, just send them the tracking and then wait three weeks to put it in the mail. I, that frustrates <laughs> me more. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because you're in Arkansas and they got to figure out where that is first. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck are we going to get the hats there? <laughs> they're, like, they're like, we don't have any horses. How are we going to get this shit out? Arkansas? <laughs> we're going to get this shit to Arkansas. I'm pretty sure I still have hats out there from 2022 that I haven't received yet. Nah, so it is annoying. It is annoying. It is annoying, Klein. If like someone's not like if they're not shipping, like, it is kind of fucking annoying. Like it's not that hard to do. It's not like they're they're selling a thousand hats, right? Yeah, they're definitely not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you yeah. can tell from the Jamaican lady's stress level, right? Snap. You can tell like how many yeah. hats they've sold that week. I I I don't really know if she's Jamaican, but she damn sure sounds Jamaican to me. I don't know what she is. They just must Probably be too yeah. damn busy to go into this fucking construction site to take pictures of semi hat. I don't know. The welder. And think about this, right? She's probably like fucking pissed off. She's like, I work for Sneaker Town, and these motherfuckers are calling here every day about minimum a fucking, fucking hat. wage. And That's people why. People calling in, waiting four days for their hats. I'm trying my best to ship them out, but <laughs> god damn it. Oh, she well, hated when when when, when Sneaker Town when Sneaker Town had that Simpson pack. I know she was fucking annoyed as fuck. All the people calling about them Simpson hats. <laughs> Listen, I, when it comes to invoices, right? We're we're we don't we don't ship out every day at time. There's no way I can do that because I'm the one that's that's doing most of that shipping. But with everything else, it's like next day we we send the shit out, man. I mean, yeah. Next day, you ruined it for except everybody. for weekends, like Friday. Yeah. Friday will go out. Friday, Saturday, Sunday will go on Monday. You ruined it for everyone. You and Amazon. Well, my daughter's going to be starting to work at the company now, so she's going to be shipping out on Saturday. So now we're going to have Saturday shipping. That's going to be fucking crazy. Well, I mean, Walmart has same day shipping, so I guess they ruined it for everybody. That camera. And that fucking camera blanking. That camera, man. I'm going to send him my little fucking. 1080p crack well, he's got the camera. Other, the, he's got the shoe camera. Right? No, yeah, you're using the camera I got you, right, Jason? I am. I got this other little webcam that <laughs> he can have. It was like ten bucks. Uh, it never overheats. Days. That. Ever, ever since he price dropped, that camera has not been working. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> Let's move to so fresh, guys. We're we're getting towards the end of the show here. We got two more stores to do. All right. Uh, yeah. Mm, so We're fresh. Free all over in Baltimore. <laughs> yeah. What the, fuck? what the hell is this? It's good looking. That was hat. that was Carlissimo's face on that. Oh hat right yeah, there. yeah. When he got choked out. Yeah. Yeah. Nice bright red. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. Uh, all right. Any anything you like in here? If I if I was a skater, I'd like that hat on the bottom left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do. I, I think it's a cool logo, right? It is a cool logo, yeah. Uh, and that Baltimore it's, hat's good. I like that. It's different too. That angel hat can go to the bottom of my toilet after I have some I cheese. Like I don't like that colorway at all. Yeah. Is that like faded blue and rust? What yeah, is it's that? It's not. It's not good. Weird. The A's hat in the upper left is really nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just feel like they've done that one about 16 times already. That Cal Berkeley colorway. Yeah. Jason Kidney's on the hat. All right, let's end with Stash uh, 1250, guys. Oh, he didn't put the mystery cap on there. It was a mystery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't... Um, listen, if it wasn't for views from the vaults page... Stash wouldn't have been on tonight's show. Because I'm tired of fucking having to Google his hats. Because yeah, he, t- I don't know he why they do that. I don't know why they do that, but whatever. 
they keep record of all their shoes and jeans and and t-shirts. But... That doesn't sell. <laughs> well, it's even harder for me to see his hat. So, what do you? So getting to this hat, this hat's grown on me a little bit. That's that's a cool looking hat. I'm just wondering what that mystery cap was that he dropped today. Uh, it was a uh, Ricky Henderson Athletics. Oh, it was? Yeah. Did he post that somewhere? Uh, in a different yeah. social media platform. He did. He oh. did. He posted it somewhere. He posted it on IG, no? Yeah, I thought I, I saw it today. Maybe in his I saw stories? On, I saw it on Facebook. You still go on Facebook? Well, he blocked me on IG, so. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. Let's wrap this show up, guys. This was a little, this was a smoother show today, huh? Yeah. This one kind of quick. <laughs> what are you laughing about, Leon? The, ca the camera. Camera's still not up, huh? Oh, he's back. Look at that. He's back now. It's an Elgato uh, advertisement, guys. You know, maybe you should, instead of bothering Sneaker Town about their four day shipping, you should get uh, send an email to make her that camera. Oh, we're getting donations to fix <laughs> Lincoln's camera. <laughs> Sorry, started to go fund me. You know, it's interesting. If I watch on this Streamlabs um, tab, right? It's, um, I, I see just Blanken's uh, shoe collection. <laughs> yeah, I can't see his. Uh, I can't see his. Uh, his reactions to things, but um, no. Nah, so guys, uh, I see people asking for uh, a preview from Toppers next week. We'll have a members only preview. Um, at some point, probably towards the end of the week, um, we'll get that members only preview, and then the following week we'll get these uh, Vault Club exclusive hats uh, rolling. So uh, it should be a good week next week. Um, oh, another donation for uh, client's <laughs> camera. Hey, More like just, a fan, right, Klein? If we did like a fan, like some sort of industrial fan next to that thing, I'll send you my Logitech camera. You can have this one. I'll just take those donations for the shipping. <laughs> Why the fuck do this, you need the model number for my camera? It's this one Sony, won't overheat. It's a Sony A6400. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> and uh, and Jason's got uh, a webcam. <laughs> From a yeah. cereal box that'll last yeah. uh, a whole show. But I have no a Sony, just Sony A60, A60, A Sony A64, top of the line, shoots in 4K. Compatible. I love, listen, I love when uh, I love when Blake gets real serious about his products, like the things that he has, because it's yeah. like he gets really like assertive about these things. Oh, it does piss you off though when, when my shit like model number. I just said it was a Sony like A6400. It's a who asked top for a lie. Troy Brown asked me what my fucking model number on my camera is. Asked he's gonna shoot. I'm only seeing that thing for. Uh, he's probably gonna hey, troubleshoot. Hey, Blanken, maybe he's yeah, maybe he's a camera guy. Yeah, he can maybe tell he you, fixes cameras. Yeah, maybe he say, hey, I know what's wrong with this camera. I have if a Logitech I just need the camera. Model. People think that I don't have. A, I have a Logitech Stream Cam. I, I've got it going. I just don't use it for this because it doesn't look as good. Well. <laughs> Someone said pompous bridge back in it again. <laughs> uh oh guys, he's gonna end the stream right now. He's mad. <laughs> no he's not. Uh, he's got no. he's got a, he's got, he can he can fight back, but he's got he's got like a thick skin to a degree. He does. If he, oh, Blanky can definitely fight back, but right now he's a he's got a fucking he's holding on to the stream in a fucking thin a fucking thin string. So he's got a he his arms are tied right now trying to keep this show together. He got the Sonya from Timu. That's what I want from him. <laughs> if he gets too comfortable, all our cameras are going off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of periodical uh, camera malfunctions this one. It's blackout. All right, well, uh, we don't want Blanky to get too mad. He seems like he's starting to get, he's starting to boil a little bit. He's starting to <laughs> boil over a little bit. his camera again. <laughs> well, we still got to do weepers, keepers, and sleepers. 
It's keepers, sleepers, weepers. Never it. I never got it. I, I don't know if I'll ever get it right, and I don't really care if I was about getting it right. Keepers, blanket, sleepers, your, bl- blanket, are you on keepers, sleepers, weepers today? I'm about to not be. Oh, come on, Blanket. Oh, no, come on. No, we need you. Come on, Blanket. Please. Oh, man. Come well, on. Well, well he, he's got his picks in. We might just not see his face, depending on his camera. <laughs> Somebody else can take my picks if they're not on the show. No, no, I I've been sent you my list, uh, Leon. No, 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 no. Is it? Yeah. Are they, oh, you'll, you'll find are they all from all from Crown Minded again? Snap. Nope, nope. And 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 there's a there's one that I made my weeper, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Um, I promise you that. All right. Well, listen, guys, this is a good show. I want to thank everybody. Nice job, Blinking, keeping it together. Um, shout out to Sony. Um, make better shit. Twenty-eight seven three six eight. You could slap him, Plankin. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting keeper sleepers weepers. Oh, I, think. I know. All right, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, uh, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Link to join the vault clubs at the bottom. Um in the description of the video and uh yeah canon over sony cameras all day long for uh mexi snap klein uh jason leon and pierre we out of here see you everybody later